Hi, my friend. This is Celestia. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I have been around. I just have been showing my hands instead of my face because to be honest, it's a lot easier to just sell cards and record my hands instead of putting on makeup, jewelry, pick out an outfit. I don't look like this naturally. I have my eyeliner on, my mascara, my lipsticks, but I'm coming back to this because first of all, I want to thank you all for clicking and watching and really make a difference. And now that I have achieved over a thousand subscribers, it's really a big, big milestone. It's my very first milestone with YouTube. And this channel haven't been around for that long. I started it in January. So thank you so much for supporting and staying with me. Now, today we are going to do a new pick a car. And the topic is why is this person so into you? I make my thumbnail first. I was going to call this video, why is he so into you? But then I was like, you know what? I really need to know everybody better. So I click on my analysis and I realized that over a third of my audience are men. So let's make it gender neutral. And we're going to talk about why is this person so into you? So doesn't matter your gender, doesn't matter their gender. We're going to look at the cars and explore. As always, you have three piles to choose from. Look at these three images and see which one resonate with you. If none of them resonate with you, then think of number one, two, three. Scroll down to the description box and click on the correlated timestamps. And that will be a reading. And I will see you at your reading. Hi, pal one. If you choose this image, this is your reading. This reading is about why is this person so into you. So we're going to explore what they think of you first so we can figure out why they're so into you. And when I asked the astrology card to give us some planets, I got Uranus Revolution and Neptune Dreams. Uranus is the ruling planet for Aquarius and Neptune is the ruling planet for Pisces. They're both the last two signs of the zodiac. Aquarius is number 11 and Pisces is number 12. Pisces is the last zodiac sign of everything. And eight is a sign of dream, of imagination. And it is a sign that combine all the other signs energy. The 12 signs are as if this is a person's journey. Start from Aries all the way to Pisces. And once you get to Pisces, it's getting into the spiritual point that this person have experienced all life. I'm not saying that you're born in February or March because I'm describing the energies. But if you look at your sign, moon and rising sign or even Venus, Mars, you might have planets in your Pisces or Aquarius or your 12th house or your 11th house. But anyway, let me read this card to you. Neptune. Imagination, memories, the subconscious, self-sacrifice, ideals, universal life, visions, meditation, spirituality, compassion, empathy, fantasies, escapism, the ether, enchantment, confusion, magic. This person thinks that you are mystical. You believe in the occult. You believe in higher power. You are very in tune with your intuition and you probably go to ceremonies. You're spiritual. With the Uranus card, revolution, it says breakthroughs, brainstorming, originality, insight, awakening, technology, innovation, humanitarianism, reform, surprise, freedom, experimentation, the unexpected, rupture, edge, diversity, lightning. What this card is telling me is that this person you're thinking of thinks you are really out of the box. You are full of excitement. For example, it's Sunday morning, everything's closed, and you just come up with the coolest idea. Let's go kayaking, let's go swimming, let's go to the beach, let's go for a hike in the mountain. You're full of spontaneous ideas and they can never fully foresee what you are going to do next, what you are going to say next. There's so much excitement with you and you bring out their inner child. They feel a childlike energy when they're around you. You let them forget about the heaviness of their work, the stress of their life. Being with you, take them to another realm. Then you get number six, not for you, reversed. I think they see you as a challenge. They may think that you are out of their league. Maybe you are not their regular type, but they're so drawn to you because you are so mysterious. You are so fun and they just want to know more about you. 
And with this fortune cookie on this card, there the fortune says nope expression mark expression mark make me feel like you've rejected them before or somehow they feel like you would reject them and with the chess on the card you really stimulate their intelligence you are smart yourself and the thing you say the stuff you do make this person want to be engaged they want to keep at your level of stimulation which is quite a lot and they may see you as someone that's calculated not manipulative but you know what you want and you know how to get there because when you play chess it's better that you can see three four five even 10 steps ahead you calculate all these scenarios in your head and plan ahead and that's how they see you you're a planner you go after your goal and you are there to win and then with number 35, you get loyal hearts. This card show me that this person think you will make a loyal partner, that they can trust you, they have faith in you, and they might put you on a pedestal. They might think that you are their ideal partner. Maybe you are really attractive. You look amazing. Maybe it's your personality. You just embody everything that that person is thinking what an ideal partner will look like and feel like. They think about you constantly. With a spirit animal oracle deck, you got number 14, the chameleon spirit. Act as if. You are someone appear to be successful in the society standard. And you act it out that way too. Even when you are wearing the plainest clothes, like a white t-shirt and the denim shorts, you still stand out from the crowd because of your confidence, because of how you project yourself when you are out about. You are beautiful. And I see that with the chameleon, we have to talk about how you shape shift. If you're in a corporate event, going to a convention, you dress up in your high heel, dress up in your pen suit. I don't dress up in pendant suit. I still wear dresses in those situations because it's much easier. You just put on one piece of cloth, just give the lady some tips. But anyway, you can look really professional. You can look really edgy. You have a site that you're just spiritual. You wear feather earrings and shaman clothes. You shape shift and it's always on point and appropriate. You are always coordinated with your clothes. They are fascinated about that, just how you can always be so fine. They like you. And next, you get number 68, the warm bed spirit. It says, be at home. Something about you remind them of their home or what would be an ideal home for them. They feel authentic when they're with you. They feel that you are not judging them. They think that you are very supportive. They imagine, like from the get-go, I think this person imagine what it'd be like to be in a committed relationship with you, to even build a family. And they see you as someone that's so adorable. That's almost like can be a pet that they need to take care of or they want to take care of. I think that's more appropriate, that they want to take care of you. And then we move into the tarot's. I'm not gonna show you every single card because I am using the sexual magic tarot deck. But let's dive in. This person thinks that you are very confident, that you are happy, you are content with yourself. We got the temperance here. She is drinking a beverage from a fancy wine wakener and there are swans flying by her and on her chest there's a rose. She is in a nightgown looking clothes. She's not wearing shoes. Her long hair is flowing. She's wearing her energy relaxing. This person might have seen you at a resort relaxing. You might have post picture about you enjoying your alone time. They have extremely strong temptation towards you. They find you very attractive. They're, it's really high. The, the, the drive is really high, but they have their own concerns. With the eight of pentacles, I see two people naked. 
the girl is drinking a coffee, maybe it's their morning coffee, and the guy is laying next to her, having a rose on her feet, and she's not even paying attention to him. So I wonder if this person thinks that there are more important things in your life that might take your mind away from them, even though you are at an intimate setting. So maybe you are not as present as they wish you are, but nonetheless, they want to pour their heart to you. They want to hold you. They want to go for a hike with you. They want to sit by the road and hold you on their laps. They want you to check them out and touch them. And obviously, they want to do the same to you. They are so into you because they see the intuitive side of you. They can feel, they can tell that you can feel things, you can see things beyond what just the physical form. They feel like you can get into people's heart, not just theirs, even your friends. You're a very caring person, you're an empathic. With the Ace of Swords, that's what I'm seeing, that you go through your own struggle, but you know how to handle them. You know how to cut off the wires and get rid of the obstacles in your life to achieve whatever you want to achieve. They see you as someone that's mean to be successful. They think that you are someone who is prepared for the obstacles for life, and they believe in you. And they want to be by your side when you're facing those challenges. With the Sun card, number 19, you bring the most joy to them. When they think of you, their heart light up. They may even have full body reaction or sensations. You are a very bright person. You are loving. You are fun. Again, you are so much fun. You like to be out and about. You are attracting a lot of positivities around you. And I think you are attractive too. They know that about you with the sun car because the sun is so bright. You know that even it's a cloudy day, the sun is shining out there behind the cloud. So they know that you are popular and they love that about you for all the attentions that you gave to them. And they see you as queen of pentacles, which made me think that you are established, you are abundant, you are financially independent, you know what you want, and you are a go-getter. You are an earthy and grounded person. This card can represent all the earthy signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Those signs take care of their material realm very well. And they see you as someone who's meant to be a leader, and you lead with compassion and kindness. I think you are not loud. I don't know why I'm saying that, but they see you as elegant. You can party, you can have fun, but you don't purposely draw attention to yourself, even though no one will miss you. That's just how amazing, how radiant you are. They may even tell you that you are radiant. With the Ten of Pentacles, they definitely think of building a family with you. I see a lot of kids, they want to grow old with you. They want to create a new life with you. Their imagination runs pretty wild when they are thinking about you. And then with the Romance Angel Oracle deck, I got Make the Effort. It says, Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. So I think this person is going to come forward and express their affection to you soon. Especially we get the Express Your Love card. It says go ahead and make romantic gestures. So this person is definitely planning and they're going to make their move. Now, you also get a third card. It says pay attention to the right flags. The signs are cautioning you. This card makes me feel like this person is level-headed. Despite all the brightness, all the joy, fun that they see in you, they will do their due diligence. They will research you. They will try to talk to your friends, people who are close to you to get a more comprehensive image of who you really are. They want to know your dark side. They want to know what your triggers are. And only people who really care about you want to get into the dark and dirty side of you. This is because this person wants to make a real investment in this connection. That's why they want to know more about you. The good and the bad, the ugly and the beautiful. 
And then I asked the Hidden Truth Oracle back to give us some direct message from this person. We got, I wish I had treated you better. I wish I could take back my words. I love you unconditionally. I want you. This person said something to you that they regret. They wish they haven't said that. They think it's too late, but I don't think it is because you are watching and reading about them. And this person loves you unconditionally and they want you. Body. <laughs> I just slipped. They want you. So I'm thinking if you're still interested in this person, you may want to reach out to them because they think about you so fondly and they want to reach out to you, but they have their regrets. Don't give them a hard time when they reach out to you next because I see that they're going to reach out to you with make an effort and express your love. But know that it take a lot out of them just to speak to you again. So yeah, this is what I have for you, Paul. And I hope it makes sense. Thank you so much for staying until the end. I hope this reading resonated with you. And I hope you can leave me a comment, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I hope to see you next time. Bye. Hi, Pal2. If you pick this image, this is your reading. I'm not sure if you've watched the very recent pick card reading that I did. It was about no contact situation. I feel like you and this person may not be talking so much right now, but that is not what this reading is about. I'm going to tell you why this person is so into you and you make the decision. Okay. Now, when I asked the astrology cards about what they think of you, I got Taurus, the bombshell, the 10th house, reputation, and conjunction, empowerment. Let's look at these cards one by one. Taurus is a sign about luxury, about enjoyment, about appreciate the fineness of life. This person like your style, they like your vibe, they like the places you go to, the food you eat. They feel like you appreciate the beauty of life more than the average show. They like how grounded you are, you are solid, you take your work seriously because the 10th house is about your career. You may be an entrepreneur building your own empire, building your own business. You may be an authority figure. You may be an influencer. You might be in the spotlight. There are a lot of people paying attention to you. You have big responsibilities. You might be a CEO, CFO, making huge decisions. At least that's the trajectory that you are on to. That's the career path that you are focusing on. You want to build something that will give you a legacy. People will not forget about you, how to. And then with the conjunction, it says empowerment. This car make me feel like this person want to collaborate with you. They want to work with you. You might have met each other at work, actually, very likely, or school. Work or school, they're kind of interchangeable in readings. This person want to join forth with you. If you were to become a couple, they are thinking about power couple like Jay-Z and Beyonce. Not exactly, but you get an idea. They're both the top at their field. They're really good at what they're doing. They are serious business people. Wow, I can't believe this person's first impression about you is about work, about career. So that's what makes me think that you met through work. And then you get number 29, breathe. This call come reversed. And number 15, message in a bottle also came reversed. These two cards make me feel like you might not be talking right now. You might be at a break, at a cool-off situation. This person, when they think of you, they think of they need to take a walk in the woods or go get some fresh air to calm themselves down. They think that their message is not come across correctly with you. There might be some misunderstanding before. You might have blocked them. They are not hearing from you. But there is hope though. They still have hope about this connection. They think this is a temporary situation if you are not talking to each other. And then when I ask the spiritual animal oracle deck about what they think of you, I got number 40, the mouse spirit, tend to the small things. And 29, the giraffe spirit, see the big picture. Aren't they interesting? They're the smallest and the tallest animal on earth. And one is tend to the small thing and one is look at the big picture. This person think really highly of you. They think you're capable of making big plans, being strategic being the big boss 
And you are also paying attention to small details. You don't let detail slip through your head. It will not happen if you are the manager of a project and you forgot something. That is not how they see you. And they see how respected you are on your field, how well decorated and how beautiful you are. You're amazing to them. How to? When I asked the sexual magic tarot deck, and that's why you're not seeing the cards right now, I got two of ones. Two of ones is about two people at a dining table. They're doing full C. The girl is touching the man's thigh with her feet under the table and they have red apple. They are planning maybe for a hunt. On her side, she has a ruffle. On his side, there's arrow and spear. And then far away, there's a wooden stick with fire on it. When they think about you, they're planning. They're planning something. Maybe a life with you together. And maybe you've done that together and they keep replaying that scene in their head because that's what they want. You also get Knight of Cups and King of Cups. This person wants to show up in front of you like a prince on a horse or a king. They have so much emotion around you and it is developed over time. It's not just happen out of nowhere. This is happening in a period of time. You've known each other for a while and that's how they have grown their fondness towards you greater and greater. They adore your body with Knight of Cups. It is a knight on a horse and a torch walking towards a lake. And then there's a beautiful woman sitting in the lake naked with the top of her body exposed above the water and checking the man out. They enjoy checking you out. They enjoy your body. Maybe you've had beautiful photos that you've sent to them and they kept them dearly. And then with the King of Cups, I do feel like this king want to wine and dine you. Because of that tourist energy that they are aware of you, they take you to nice places and eat really good food, high quality food, fresh, expensive. They want you to feel like a princess, a queen, because they want to be your king. And we got a sun car. In the sun car, there are two people holding each other naked and a bunch of fruits at the woman's feet. It is abundant. It is a very intimate connection that they enjoy it inside and outside. I really feel like when they think of you, they think about the intimate moment that you've had or you will be having both indoor and outdoor, and they are not afraid of showing affection towards you in public. They actually want to do it in public, show whoever surround how much they adore you. It's not possessive, but I think they want to make a statement to other people because you are so attractive and they're a little ego within them. They want to be seen with you. They want people to know that you like them back. They want to make a statement when it comes to you. And then... I pull some more tarot cards from the Lysir's tarot deck, which I can show you. You get seven of ones, ace of pentacles reversed, tower reversed, ten of cups reversed. These cards are the ones that make me feel like maybe you are in a standoff situation. You're not talking to each other. Something really horrible, horrendous happened to this connection or it happened to one of your life that you are not communicating. It makes this person's world upside down to the point that you two might have to take a break from each other, even though they have all the amazing things planned with you and they are here to stay with the son, with the king. King is not gonna move from his throne and he is sitting there enjoying his drink and he has you by his side, he's not gonna move. But with Seven of Swords, there was betrayal, there was deception, there was argument, there was fight. It could be between the two of you, it could happen somewhere else, but it clearly impacts this connection. They are looking for a way back to you, this person. They want to win the battle and they are willing to do whatever it needs. They are not afraid of breaking the rule to get what they want and they're coming, they're coming for you. 
with the Ace of Pentacles, what in question, what, what brought this disagreement, maybe finance related, maybe work related, something that doesn't work out. It might even be a miscarriage. I just feel it that way when I saw this card that you lost a baby or someone lose a baby. Mm, I'm so sorry if that's what happened. I can definitely see that will bring a toll on a committed relationship, regardless how fond of each other you are. Something that they hold so dear have broken that they are hurting. This is not good. <laughs> when the Ten of Cups come out reverse, it's about disharmony, argument. It's about miscommunication, struggling. There might be miscommunicated expectations. One of you might feel not worthy of love. There may be a delay as well. So there are challenging aspects within this connection and it's caused by events, a series of events. It may not even be your personality. It may not relate to who you inherently are. It just your circumstances and situation and the timing were a bit off that you had to go through these things together or it just happened to one of you. It is difficult. Let's come back because I said there's hope in this connection and I still stand in my ground. When I asked the Romance Andrew Oracle deck, we got trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. The picture is a couple with a little child on the side. The child is carrying a arrow and the man is holding a wand. It's weird. I feel like one of you is so angelic, goddess or godlike, and the other person is a bit like a pirate. It's a bit sneaky in their career. The thing they do, they might be a pirate, they might be a soldier. They're not as innocent as the other person. And divine, the spirit, angels, creator are trying to put you two together. They think you are a good balance to each other and you need to trust each other in this connection. Trust that you have each other's best interests. Trust that there is a reason that you are in each other's life. And then you get worth waiting for. It says divine timing is at work in your life. If something is not working out, know that there will be hope on their way and you won't even know who they are because in this card i see two angels their body are radiant but they use a white sheet to cover their bodies you can't tell that they are shining although their angel wings are still outside so if you pay attention you still know that they are angel there's help in this guy there's something that will happen to you that is divine timing if you went through a difficult situation know that there was a reason for that and it is to improve the connection. So at some point you will learn, you will get this idea. And then you get make an effort. This card came out with the previous pile too. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. This person is ready to make an effort, but I think they may be waiting on you to be ready, pile two. You might have cut them off. You may have been really angry with them. You wanted to erase every good memory that you have, but this person is not ready to let it go. And when I ask the Hidden Truth Oracle deck, I got bury myself in work to forget you. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. I will wait for a sign from you. I look for you everywhere. I think you don't live too far from each other and that's why they can look for you everywhere. They may even go to the places that you usually go to together, but you were never there. They miss you so much. They miss you dearly and they hurt them. They still cherish the good memories that you have with each other, but the terror moment really, really gave them chills. They are very devastated on how this connection is right now. They are so grateful for everything you've gone through and you've gone through together. They've thought things through and they see the lessons in those situation. I think if you unblock this person, you can expect a message soon. I don't know how often they text you, but I feel like you will receive a message from them if you unblock them right now. According to these cards, I feel like this is someone that's worth a second chance. They haven't moved on. 
they think so highly and so fond of you. They're just broken hearted because there were challenges in your relationship, but they're there for you. They want to be with you, Paul too. So whoever this is, I hope this reading makes sense. And if you like this video, give me a thumb up. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you next time. Have a great day and night. I hope to see you next time. Hi, Pal3. If you picked this image, this is your reading. Now let's dive into the cards. With the astrology card, you get Moon, the feelings, Venus, love, and Sagittarius, the voyage. You may have quite a few planets in Sagittarius in your birth chart. You may have your Sagittarius in your Moon or in your Venus. You may have your Moon in Sagittarius or you may have Venus in Sagittarius. Sagittarius is an exciting sign. On the card, it says enthusiastic, philosophical, independent, generous, ethical, seeking, happy-go-lucky, adventurous, honest, bareback, unbridled, experimental, lucky, boundless, traveling, risk-taking, tactless, self-righteousness. This person is very excited around you, and they think that you are a very exciting person. You love to travel. You love philosophy. You like to learn. You may into higher education. You may take different workshops and seminars. You are lucky. They see you as a lucky star. You get noticed everywhere you go. You probably win lottery or raffle. Some people just never win those things, but you do. They see you as fun and courageous. So that's what the Sagittarius energy is about. And then when it comes to the planet, Venus is about love. Venus is the sign of femininity. On this card, it says beauty, harmony, romance, charm, receiving, sensuality, luxury, wealth, diplomacy, magnetism, value, pleasure, adornment, adoration, attraction, indulgence, taste, and style. They love your style. They love your taste of food, of clothing, of your appearance, of what you do. You are such a pleaser of the eye. You are a pleaser of the soul as well. They feel warm, and you're a very charming person, Pal Three. And then with the Moon card, I wonder if you have more feminine energy in you, like a woman. For example, they see you as nurturing. They're just this softness and mysticalness about you that they really appreciate. You have the exciting side as a Sagittarius, and then with the Moon and Venus, they are both nurturing, kind. Especially Moon is a bit mysterious, and maybe there's something special about you at night that it just drawn them to you, or they have stronger feeling towards you at night. And then you get number forty-one soulmates. This card came out reversed, and number thirty-four a leg up. This card also came out reversed. I think you've known each other for a while, and with the soulmate card come out reversed, this person think that you are their one and only. They can feel there's a special connection between the two of you. They think you are the only person holding a key to their heart, or vice versa. Through all the obstacles and difficulties that you've went through together, they think. It as a lesson, as you're teaching them something spiritually, physically, or just in general, they see you as their teacher. They see this connection at a much higher level than just physical or a flink. And whatever happened between the two of you, they treasure those memories, and they think that you are really good for them. You show them a side that they didn't know that exists within them. And you had taught them things that they didn't know about. You broadened their eyes, almost like a Latin adjustment that they come from very different background, and they show each other different world. And then with a leg up, this person thinks that you're very independent. They think you're very capable and competent, and they have concern that you are a loner. They sometimes think that. You refuse their help, or just in general, you could have refused people's help, and they think that together we can go much faster and farther. It's better off that you include me or include your tribe into your project to help you. There is a protective energy in this card, even though they see how capable you are. They want to be there for you, and they want you to 
almost like turn on a switch and know the value of adding team members on your team awesomeness, team power three. And then with the spiritual animal oracle deck, you get number seven, the bee spirit. It says sweet results await. And then number 55, snake spirit, time to heal. These two cards gave me different vibes, but they're not contradicting to each other. With the bee spirit, it's screaming to me, they want to be with you. Be, 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 be with you. I want to be with Pal 3. I want this connection to work. I will do whatever I can. If I have to open my third eyes, if I have to drink the ayahuasca, I will do it. They have so much faith in this connection and they hope for the best. They hope for that union. This is really, really sweet. And you know, be make honey and they're going to make your love life very romantic. They want to learn what you like, how to make you feel certain ways. They're there. They are ready to go. <laughs> and then they think you are very sweet too. And that's why they're willing to make all this effort for you. You are a very special person in their heart. And then with the snake spirit, they think you're flexible. This is about your mindset and your body. Snake can be seductive. They can be cunning. They are flexible. This is how this person see you. They see you as wise beyond your age, beyond your look. You may have an innocent look. You may have a very feminine look that people may take you for granted that they underestimate you and that's how you become a snake and bite your enemy at their throat and let them face their death. You are not someone to be messed with. You are strong mentally and you are laser focused. You are a great partner to be collaborating with, to be with as a life partner as well because you're very, very capable. And you understand how people perceive you and you take that into your consideration and you make it as your advantage. You have a very clear perception of this world and you only use your weapons when it's necessary. You rather people think you as happy, innocent, but deep down you know that you have sharp teeth. You can fight. And then I pull some cards from the Tarot of Sexual Magic. And I'm not going to show these cards because YouTube put limit on my readings when I do that. So I'm just going to describe these cards to you. You get Eighth of Wands. On the Eighth of Wands, they are a couple on a couch. They're both naked. The girl has pearl on them. And there's a sword laying next to them. And afar, there's a king-looking man, also naked sneaking behind the curtain looking at these two people you also get ace of cups ace of cups is two people on the bed holding each other and there's a big dessert like strawberry looking or raspberry looking dessert on the window and there's a maybe raspberry on top and then you get knight of cups this is about two people they're not naked they have their clothes on underwear and there's fruits ice cream there's fan there's lantern and they are in a garden with flowers around them. They're sitting on a rock bench. They are, they're getting there. They're taking off their clothes. And then the last card is Queen of Pentacle. Queen of Pentacle is half naked, sitting on a chair and looking into the mirror of her upper body. Her hair is tied up and there's a crown on her hair. There's a man at her knee. He's naked and he's touching her legs. Well, your person is sexually attracted to you. This is obvious. They thank you as their dessert. They think that you open their heart. Being with you make them so happy. They feel aroused constantly and they almost don't care if there's other people around because they have their full attention on you. They don't notice things. They see you as a boss. They see you as abundant. They see you as confident. They love your body. They love your feet. You have beautiful breasts. You have beautiful hair. It's just everything about you. They may only commenting on your body part, but trust me, it's the full package that they are into. 
They want to wine and dine you. They want to do it in different places with you, like in the bedroom, in the living room, in the garden, wherever. This person is very, very sexually attracted to you. And then I pull some cards from the like Sears tarot deck as well. You get Knight of Pentacles. You can see these cards. Ten of Swords, come on reversed. Seven of Cups, come on reversed. And Knight of Wands come out upright. This person see you as, again, abundance. You are self-sufficient. You are confident. You're good at what you do. You are reaching a point where you are being recognized at your career. You're confident. You don't take shit. You don't give shit to other people's shit. You just take care of your own business. You are very confident. Sometimes you come off stand selfish. Maybe you have some Capricorn energy in you as well. You have that resting bitch face sometimes, not all the times. It doesn't matter if a person likes you or not, but they always know that Power 3 take care of their things. They're very organized, structured. You have a schedule. You are really good at what you do. And they see that you have many, many options. No matter it's your career, it's your social life, you are popular. And yet they are grateful that you pay attention to them. Every time you talk to them, I feel like I've talked to my soulmate. They are screaming in their heart. They want to approach this connection carefully because they want to make a real thing and a long-term thing. With Ten of Swords come on reversed, I think this person knows something about you. They know about your history. Maybe you have been hurt before. You have been betrayed before. Maybe you have went through devastating situation. And they saw you standing up, getting rid of the dirt on your clothes, and walk off starting a new life. They know that things will not bring you down. And you are smart. You can handle your life, they have a lot of confidence in you. And when I get to the Romance Angel Oracle deck, I got calling your soulmate. In this card, it says, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. This is what this person is doing. They may even be taking courses about how to manifest power three into their life. You also get playful. It says, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. You are so fun with this Sagittarius energy. And they want to do all kinds of fun things with you. Even just sitting on the swing and spending time together, holding each other. They are so fond of you. They adore you so much. You are so cute to them. You are like an angel. You are perfect. You are perfect. They may have said that to you. You are not perfect because nobody is perfect, but in their eyes, you are perfect. Even your flaws and red flags, they see as an opportunity to grow because they believe that you are soulmates. They may have told you that you are the person I've been manifesting. They may have told you that I have been thinking of my ideal partner and you are exactly of what I've thought of. And then <laughs> there is the true love. It says, this is the romance of a lifetime. Regardless of how long this connection will last, this connection will leave a mark in their heart. They will never forget about you. Mark my word. If nothing else you take away from this reading, know that this is a romance of a lifetime in their opinion. They think you are someone that's so hard to come by because you embody all the qualities that they look for a partner and your flaws are not not a big deal to them and last but not least i pulled some cards from the hidden truths oracle deck and we got i feel you even though we are apart this person feels you all the time this is a body sensation and they feel you in their heart they may believe that this is a more spiritual connection that you two are meant to be together because we have two soulmate cards come out already. That's pretty rare. And then you have the Venus and the Moon. Venus is about love. And then you get the B spirit. It literally says, sweet results awake. Okay, yeah, this is very sweet love. This person feels like you are their soulmate. I do want to point out that 
in addition to they see the difficult and challenges as a growth opportunity with you, they also see that you bring healing to them. You remind them of their work, inner work that they have to do, they have to improve upon. And they see you, Power 3, they appreciate all the healing you've done to yourself. They think that you wouldn't have been this person that exactly matched their soulmate criteria if you were not going through the difficult times that you have gone through with the Ten of Swords and without all the work that you put into yourself. And you've put in a significant amount of work. You have the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Queen of Pentacles. You are solid in the material realm. You are self-sufficient, you are established, you are independent financially and just overall. And spiritually, they see you as a huge pillar to their life if you were to become together. Anyway, let me go back to the Hidden Oracle deck. This person also is saying that I look for you everywhere. They hope that they can run into you at a mall, at a restaurant. When they go out at night, they want to be with you. You speak to me through music. When they listen to music, they think of you. There are a lot of songs. Maybe you share your playlist with them and they will listen to them over and over again to remind them of you. And they have their own playlist about you. If they make a soundtrack about love, it's going to be about you, Paul 3. You might be under a different name on their cell phone too. They give you a very special name like uh, Queen Bee or I don't know, polar bear or something like that <laughs> Just on the cards. That's why I'm saying those. But you're very special to them. And last but not least, it says, I lost myself for a little while. This card gave me two feelings. One is they did something that they regret. They think they lost themselves in front of you. You may have had an argument and they were not the best of themselves. Another thing I'm thinking of is that when they're with you, they've lost time and space. They're so focusing on you that they lost their usual senses. Like they couldn't make decisions of things. They couldn't make to the meeting on time. They did something that's not related to the relationship, but related to other important aspects of their life that they make the mistake. The mistake is due to they were thinking of you. That is what I have for you, Pal 3. I hope this reading resonated. Please let me know in the comment and give me a thumb up if you like this video. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. I wish you well day and night. I hope to see you next time. Bye.